Okay, so welcome back, Team Forever, all that good stuff. But it's time for us to get down to business because I am doing the military lose 10 pounds in three day diet challenge. It's not really a challenge, but I'm making it one for me. But I want y'all to try this diet out if it works because it could just bomb out. I'm going to follow this diet to the T. I'm not going to change anything about it. I'm doing every single thing they tell me to do. And you're supposed to lose 10 pounds in three days. Now, what made me want to do this is I want to torture myself, clearly. No, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I watched somebody else's video on it. I don't know what made me click on it. You know how you on YouTube at night, or at least I am. And you just sometimes you just run into random videos. And I ran into hers. I'll leave a link to her video in the description box down below. But um, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I actually already started to diet because uh, I wanted to start today, which is Thursday, and it's kind of like 9 o'clock at night. But, um, so this morning when I woke up, I had something to do, so I went right into the breakfast. So, so breakfast day one, which I already have, it includes one slice of toast, two tablespoons of peanut butter, half a grapefruit, and one cup of coffee or tea. Now, I didn't record this part of the video because like I told you, I already started this. It's nine o'clock at night right now and I had this breakfast just before 10 a.m. So I had this breakfast at 9 a.m. Um, and y'all gonna see, well first of all, let me tell y'all what I thought of it before I read it. First of all, I don't like grapefruit. I don't do grapefruit. I know how gross it is. It kind of, it's so nasty. I don't see how anybody eat grapefruit. Grapefruit is like the worst fruit I ever had. So people who just buy grapefruit inside their fridge, like who are y'all? Who just buys a grapefruit? I wasn't really tripping off the toast. I thought that the, it was supposed to be wheat toast by the way, wheat bread for the toast. So I wasn't really tripping off the toast and peanut butter is actually really good. Like peanut butter, You're supposed to use peanut butter with no sugar, just like peanuts, but I use regular peanut butter. I did the video. Now I didn't record this part of the video like I said earlier because I was somewhere else, I had something to do. But I did record me actually making the food and eating the food, so y'all will see that video right now. All right guys, this is my breakfast for day one. I put one tablespoon of peanut butter on the actual toast and the other tablespoon on the actual spoon that I'll eat by itself. I got half this grapefruit. I'm not looking forward to eating, but uh, I'm glad it's half. And then I got my bottle of water. I decided to just drink water instead of the coffee or tea. And here's the whole breakfast. I did not think toast with peanut butter would be that nasty, but it was. For some reason, peanut butter toast is just not good. It's not just good. It's just not good for me. I would. I think I would have been better off just taking the, the the bread with peanut butter on it and just eating it like that. I don't know. I don't really like toast that much anyway. But then I ate the grapefruit, which <laughs> it, it it got worse. It got worse. You know how sometimes you don't like something when you were a kid and then you like it better when you get older? Grapefruit was nasty then and it's still nasty now. So, and, but it, so I struggled. I struggled to eat that half a grapefruit and thank God it was half because, oh my gosh. I'm about to throw up thinking about it. So after I just had this nasty piece of toast and this nasty, disgusting grapefruit, Y'all want me to take a whole tablespoon of peanut butter and shove it down my mouth or my throat? So mad. It was so nasty. So I got through it. I really didn't barely eat all the peanut butter off that spoon because it was just a whole bunch. It was a whole bunch going on in the stomach at that point. And then the coffee or tea. I was going to drink the coffee because you know you can't add, I'm pretty sure y'all know you can't add cream or sugar to either one. But I was going to drink the coffee because I know that coffee is negative calories. So black coffee is negative calories. It like gets rid of calories. It doesn't, you don't gain any. So I thought it would help out with the weight loss, but it maybe that's why it's on there. But I just decided to skip that. So I just drank water. So yeah, but now lunch, which I also already have, and I have lunch at about a little after two a little after two but lunch was half a cup of tuna and one slice of toast 
and one cup of coffee or tea. Again, I didn't have the coffee or tea, but um, when I saw this initially, I thought it was very small, but um, I wasn't really like, I, for some reason I wasn't really feeling that hungry anyway, so I didn't really care that much. Um, and tuna is actually pretty good, so I, was, I wasn't really worried about this. But it was tuna straight out the can. It wasn't like <laughs> freshly made tuna, you know? So, um, well, I recorded it. Y'all will see it. Just watch this video. All right, y'all, here's lunch date one. It's pretty small. I got my half cup of tuna straight out the can. I drained as much of the water off as I could. Probably should have got the one that come in a bag, but it's fine. And here's my wheat bread toast. And this is my lunch for day one. The the lunch was not really that bad at first because the I took the bread, the toast, and just put the tuna on top. And that was pretty good. It tasted it tasted it was fine. But um now I'm here right now and it's a little after nine. Dinner is actually pretty big too. I just looked at this and I'm like, wow, okay. So um three ounces of any type of meat one cup of green beans, half a banana, one whole apple, and one cup of vanilla ice cream. So the meat I chose was chicken, chicken breast, because I think that's about the healthiest of the meats that I can think of. Chicken breast? I, th I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wondering. I could be completely wrong about that. I'm not sure. But I got chicken breast, and I'm trying. I'm debating on if I should put it in the oven or just grilling it on the stove with just a little bit of oil. Like I'll just spray the pan. Um, but other than that, I'm looking forward to this dinner. Like it's not, you know, the apple's gonna be good, the banana's gonna be good, the ice cream. And by the way, the vanilla ice cream they give it to you each all three days, so you always got vanilla ice cream to look forward to if y'all do this this video with me I really want y'all to do this with me and send me do a video or leave a comment if y'all watch this whole video and then do the challenge and then come back to this video give it a thumbs up and comment your experience doing it so now I'm about to go do this eat this dinner and um, I will see y'all tomorrow for breakfast all right y'all here go dinner day one Got the vanilla ice cream. This ain't mine. This is just for show. So there you go. <laughs> uh, then we got the half a banana, whole apple, the green beans, and the chicken breast. I don't really know how much three ounces is or six ounces or however much it's supposed to be. So I just took chicken breast and I guess I'll look that up in a second. Uh, what is that seasoning we put on this? So we put a little bit of Mrs. Dash on the chicken and on the green beans. I don't know if you're really supposed to do that, but yeah. If I don't lose no weight, that's one thing I did. Good morning, y'all. Now I'm on breakfast day two. I made it through breakfast day one. Or I made it through day one. By the grace of God. I'm trying to wake up early to have these breakfasts, but um... It's a little bit after 10 right now, so didn't really work today. But um, actually, let me talk about dinner from last night. Dinner from last night was actually really good. Um, so, you know, I had the chicken. I grilled it on the stove instead of putting it inside the oven. I didn't want it to dry out. And I added um, Mrs. Dash, that seasoning to it. So it can have a little bit of seasoning. And I added that to the green beans, too. The green beans were still gross. But most vegetables are gross to me, so I just ate them, and um, the chicken was really good. I actually started eating it so fast, I had to stop. It was so tender. The apple, well, I, then I ate the half a banana, which was also good. And then I had the whole apple, which pretty much filled me up after I ate the apple. But I also got the one cup of ice cream, so the dinner really filled me up. It was good because I actually, like, as soon as I started to make the dinner, my stomach started to hurt like I was hungry. But it really hit the spot last night. That dinner was A-OK. -okay. I liked it a lot. But now we're on breakfast day two, which consists of one egg, any type of whey, 
one slice of toast and half a banana. Um, I think I'm just gonna boil the egg, but I guess y'all will see in a second. Yeah, I think the theme of today is gonna be an egg. Actually, I have yeah, cause I have to have an egg for um lunch. Oh. But I'll see y'all in a second. Well, here's breakfast day two. Half a banana, one piece of toast, on wheat, a boiled egg. Well, you know, the egg could be any type of way, but I just boiled it because it's only one. I prefer it scrambled, but I just feel like one scrambled egg would be such a little bit that I might as well boil it. I mean, I know it's still the same amount of egg, but, you know, one scrambled egg would just look way smaller. And one cup of coffee or tea. This was not on this today's breakfast, but it was on yesterday's breakfast. And y'all know I've been just drinking water, but I'm going to try the coffee with no sugar, no cream. Um, because it's negative calories. I'll let y'all know how that goes. Um, I'm pretty, this breakfast is not that bad, except the toast don't have anything on it. And, you know, I don't really have to drink this. So, really the only thing I'm worried about is the toast. Everything else is pretty good. Alright y'all, so I actually just stood here and finished this breakfast kind of quick. It took me like a minute and a half probably um i took one sip of this and it was gross but i think i'm gonna try to finish it um i didn't eat the crust of my toast i gave it to the dogs over there but the toast wasn't bad at all the toast was actually pretty good i don't know why it was nasty yesterday probably because I, oh that because i have peanut butter on it peanut but i guess i don't like peanut butter toast but the toast by itself was actually pretty good wheat wheat bread or toast on wheat or wheat bread toasted it's actually all right um the banana was good of course and the egg oh i'm not gonna lie i did add a little bit of salt to the egg i don't know if y'all can see it but i just put a little sprinkle of salt because the first thing i did was i took a sip of this and it was so nasty so i ate the banana because i knew that was gonna be good and i didn't really feel like eating something else nasty which would have been the egg <laughs> so i just added just a tiny tiny dash of salt so if I don't lose no weight, that's another thing that I did. I added seasoning to the chicken, a little bit of seasoning to the chicken. I added a little bit of seasoning to the green beans, and I added a little bit of salt to the egg. So, if I don't lose no weight, those are the things I did, but I'll see y'all for lunch. All right, y'all, so now I'm on lunch day two, and I have to admit that now, this is where I'm actually starting to feel the diet, and my stomach's starting to hurt, and I'm kind of starting to feel hungry because you know, yesterday I was pretty much okay, and this morning I was kind of okay, but now it's time for, like, lunch. And this is, and uh, the time is 3.30, 3.29 to be exact, but this is around the time where I would eat, like, for real, eat. <laughs> and I looked at the lunch menu already, and it's just not looking good. For some reason, I was just sitting on the couch, you know, living life, doing normal stuff, you know. And my stomach just started hurting out of nowhere. And I was just, like, feeling starving. Like, I needed some food right now. So I just hurried up and came down here, set this up, and looked at the lunch menu. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you can't be serious. The one day where I'm hungry, I'm really hungry, and I really can't wait to eat. <sighs> okay, let's just get to it. Lunch day two. One cup of cottage cheese. One hard-boiled egg, five saltine crackers. So, I do not like cottage cheese at all. And isn't cottage cheese like, why would I have to eat a cup of that? That just sound gross. I don't know how I'm going to get through this one. Five crackers, really? Why couldn't I get some Ritz if it's going to be crackers anyway? Five saltine crackers. And the hard-boiled egg. I'm probably going to add a little bit of salt to that again. But um, it's currently 3.30. I'm probably going to eat dinner around like 6 because I am starving right now. And I don't think this little bit of food is going to help. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm about to go 
put this together. It's not gonna take long. I boiled both eggs for for lunch. For, for, when I boiled my egg for breakfast, I boiled one for lunch too because I knew that there was a boiled egg inside today's lunch. So, <sighs> but this cottage cheese, I actually. Actually, let me stay positive. I haven't had cottage cheese in years. I had it before when I was younger, and I just knew I didn't like it. It was gross. So maybe after all these years, maybe my taste of cottage cheese changed, and maybe cottage cheese is about to be good. But I don't, I don't see it happening to be honest. But <sighs> it's only a day and a half to go. One more dinner, or no, two more dinners, two more lunches, and one more breakfast. All right. Well, I'll see y'all and um, I'll see y'all back here for right before dinner, but I'll see y'all in just a second when I finish making my lunch. All right, guys. Here go lunch day 2. Um got the boiled egg. I added a little bit of salt to it. So if I don't lose no weight, y'all know I cheated a little bit with the salt. Five saltine crackers. I actually ate a little piece of one. They're actually not that bad. I thought they was going to be nasty. And then the cottage cheese. Now, it's supposed to be one cup, but I just put half a cup because I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it all. But if I actually like it, maybe I'll add some more. This looks like feta cheese. This looks like feta cheese that somebody ate and then threw it back up. So, I don't know about this, but... With this type of lunch, I'm probably gonna be eating dinner real soon. Well, guys, this is the end result. I ate as much of this as I can, as I could. I was really trying to finish this, but I just could not do it. This ain't even a whole cup. This is only half a cup, and I probably ate about three quarters of it, so. All right, guys, so now I'm back from, I'm getting prepared for dinner day two. And I have to say, so far, so good with this challenge or whatever, this diet. But I will say that lunch day two was definitely the roughest for me, at least. Um, breakfast day one was pretty rough, too, because the peanut butter toast was nasty and the grapefruit was nasty. The grapefruit was horrible. And the peanut butter, that, that, that breakfast was horrible. This lunch... It mainly was just the cottage cheese. The crackers were actually pretty good. The banana was good as always. If I even had a banana, I don't even remember. But <laughs> the cottage cheese, I just couldn't get through it. I only put half a cup. And do people even eat cottage cheese just by itself? Or was I supposed to put it on the crackers? I don't know, but I just know it was rough for me. It was it was so nasty. I was like taking like big spoonfuls and just putting it in my mouth and just trying to just hurry up and eat it. And I just could not do it cottage cheese just it's so now it was just it was gross it was rough that was that was rough but dinner day three is or day two is what i'm getting prepared for now i read it well i know it had two hot dogs on it so i just put two hot dogs on upstairs um but dinner day two is two hot dogs obviously no bun no condiments just the hot dogs um one cup of broccoli I'm not going to add no salt this time. No, I'm not going to add nothing. I'm just going to eat the broccoli. Half cup of carrots. That should be all right. Um, half a banana. And half cup of vanilla ice cream. I was just about to say, I forgot about the ice cream. So I was about to say, at least I got a banana to look forward to every single time. But then I was like, oh, wait, the ice cream. <laughs> oh, and I didn't tell you all the time. It's currently 8.36, so... That's what time I'm having uh, dinner today. I'm trying to tell y'all the times for each thing. And by the way, I have not worked out all the yes all day yesterday. I pretty much just stayed in the house. When I wasn't doing this, recording this, or eating, I was really just sitting down. So I really have not worked out at all. But tonight I'm gonna try to do um at least 30 minutes. At least 30. At the least 30 minutes of workout because I haven't even stretched. Like I usually at work. I work I work four days a week, four days in a row, and each day I walk 13 miles. So I picked to do this diet on the three days that I have off in a row, which 
I think it's smart because not eating and then walking 13 miles and, you know, being at work, I feel like I'll pass out. All right, guys, this is dinner for day three. Two hot dogs, half a banana, half a cup of carrots. I got the water. I didn't get the ice cream this time for the display because, you know, it'll melt. And the broccoli, um, my grandma had already made broccoli for dinner. So for her dinner, for her household. So I kind of just didn't make no broccoli. And she had like four of them left over and they kind of big. So I just decided to use hers, even though I told y'all I wasn't going to put no salt or nothing on it. She already, she had already put a little bit of Mrs. Dash. That's what it's called, right? Mrs. Dash. So yeah, I, I do got broccoli with Mrs. Dash on it again, but yeah, this ain't that bad. So we made it to breakfast day three. I just woke up. It's a little bit after 10. Um, last night's dinner was okay. Wasn't nothing special. Um, I think that was my first time eating hot dogs, just hot dogs with nothing on it. No ketchup, no mustard, no bun. And I must say, hot dogs by themselves taste a lot like bologna. But anyway, um, today it's, oh, and like I was telling y'all last night about how I haven't been working out. I've just been sitting around when I'm not doing this. Well, I watched this other video that I'll leave in the description box down below. And they said that you're not really supposed to work out with this. At the most, you can do 30 minutes a day, if that. Um, I did the bike exercise for 30 minutes. I did it for 15 minutes. And I felt like I was about to pass out, so I stopped, took a 15 minute break. Then I did 15 more minutes. <laughs> but um, breakfast for day three is five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and one apple. So that's it. Nothing really special about this one. Um, but we're in the home stretch now. It's the last day. And when I woke up this morning, my stomach was hurting. I was hungry. So, um, this is about, and last night after dinner, my stomach was hurting. So I guess day two, middle of day two is when you really feel this diet. It's like, but I haven't ate anything except what it say on here. I have not added one thing. So I hope this thing works because with my luck, I'll weigh myself and I've been in gained weight. All right, y'all, here we go, breakfast day three. Uh, I got the apple. Uh, the coffee, I'm getting it because, you know, the first day I didn't have it, and the second day I didn't have it. Um, the five ball saltine crackers and the one slice of cheddar. But I'll see y'all for lunch, day three. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm time. It's time for lunch day two and i had to hurry up and run down here and make this video because i'm actually about to go to the movies with my family and before we go i, I know they're gonna be eating popcorn and cotton candy and nachos and all that crap and i'm gonna be smelling it all and i'm gonna be miserable um i wanted to eat my lunch first so that i don't be too hungry but i looked at the lunch and it's so small like, i don't know why it's so small my stomach actually does hurt right now um, but lunch day two is, oh, I, I'll tell you about breakfast. Breakfast was fine, cheese and crackers and the uh, black coffee. I actually drank all the coffee this time because y'all really should drink, if y'all do this diet, y'all really should drink the black coffee or the, the tea because black coffee is negative calories. I keep telling y'all that. It's going to help you out. If you just drink water, that's fine too, but it's not going to be as effective as black coffee. It's so gross, but y'all just gotta drink it. Cause I, if I drunk it, I know y'all can. The only thing I really couldn't do was the cottage cheese, cause that was just too nasty to me. Like, I could not. I thought I was gonna throw up. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm about to eat lunch right before we leave to go to this movie. Oh, it's currently 3:30. Um, I'm or a little after 3:30. It's like 3:38, but um. The dinner, I'm probably going to eat right when I get back from the movies. Because I already know I'm going to be starving. And dinner is not that big today either. So, this is this is probably the hardest day. Because it's the last day. It's the home stretch. And then, like, tomorrow, I, I, I weigh myself in the morning. But, I just want to eat a big old fat corned beef sandwich. Like, right now. <laughs> or as soon as, I, as soon as I finish the dinner, I just want to weigh myself then. And then just take a big old bite of a corned beef sandwich. <laughs> But I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm about to eat this lunch. It's only... Did I tell y'all what it was yet? 
Uh, lunch is a hard boiled egg and a slice of toast. So, yeah. I'm adding some salt to this boiled egg too because I, I'm really, really not doing good today. <laughs> today, I feel this diet for real. So, I'm adding salt to this boiled egg. I got to. That coffee, I drank the coffee this morning. So, yeah. But, uh, I'm about to get started with this lunch and I'll see y'all back in just a second. Alright y'all, this is lunch day three. All it is is a boiled egg and a toast, yeah. Um, I didn't really let this toast that much, but yeah, I was just ready to eat it. And I did add a little bit of salt to the egg, so cheating a little bit. But, yep, about to eat this, then go to the movies, then as soon as I get here, get home, I'll probably just go eat the dinner. Alright, welcome back guys. I'm back for dinner day three. Thank God we made it. I'm so excited to be done with this because I feel like I starved myself for this past three days. All this stuff that I ate is like one meal for me in my regular day. So I just, I cannot wait to be done with this. But my camera's about to die so I gotta hurry up and speed through this. Dinner day three is one cup of tuna, half a banana, and half cup of vanilla ice cream. I'm about to eat this right now. I'll see y'all in a second upstairs when I record it. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for my weigh in. Because it's over. I hope I lost weight. Because, y'all, with my luck, I can just see me gaining weight. Alright, y'all. So, here's the final dinner. Dinner day three. Got my bottle of water. I got my... Um, I got the bag of tuna. I'm not sure if this is one cup. It's probably not. I don't know. But that's what I'm eating. <laughs> and, can y'all believe... I actually ran out of bananas. And I went to go make this. So, I had to go get some bananas from the store. And yeah, they were not done. I y'all can see they so green. But I had to eat this, so I couldn't just mess up the last meal. That would be pretty messed up. So I decided to just get my half banana and of course the vanilla ice cream is still in the freezer. After I eat this, I cannot wait to go to sleep so I can wake up and finally have real food. Last day was the day after the last day, y'all. Y'all seeing how much weight I lost, so the diet ended up being a success. It worked. I'm just so happy that it worked because, to be honest, I was kind of scared when I was about to weigh myself, or even during that last day, day three, I was a little bit scared because what if I didn't lose no weight? What if I just tortured myself through all that and then I didn't lose anything? I was gonna be kind of hurt. So I'm glad that it was a success. I would recommend the diet, but it's, it's going to take a lot of determination if y'all want to do it because uh, day two is kind of rough and day three is even more rough because you know that you're almost done. But um, I didn't eat no other snacks, I didn't eat no other like drinks, no nothing. The only thing I did that was wrong in this diet is y'all know I added a little bit of seasoning to my vegetables and I fried, or I grilled, the chicken. Other than that, everything else, I followed to a T. So, yeah, I would recommend this diet. Um, I'll leave a link to the video, to the video of the person whose video I saw in the description below, and I'll leave a video to the actual diet, um, to the actual ingredients to the diet that I did. But, but yeah, thank y'all that watched all these videos, all the, well, this one video of all these days I tortured myself, I mean, went through this challenge, because this wasn't easy. If y'all do this journey, just uh, tag me in it, let me know, leave a comment if y'all already did it, and just, you know, like this video, share it, and yeah. Um, until next time, maybe I'll do like, because this was only three days, 10 pounds in three days. So maybe like I'll do another one of these in seven days and just see like where, just weigh myself and talk about it and see where I'm at. Because I already told y'all, I'm, after suffering for those three days, I just don't say I'm suffering. But after going through this for the past three days, I, and it's like, it's seven o'clock and I really have not ate nothing but some cereal. Like, so after torturing myself, I mean, going through that challenge all that time, I still ain't ate nothing the next day. <laughs> it's like I'm just used to not eating now. But that's it for this week's, or for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on for social media. Until next time, catch up.